Today we'll be showing you how to terminate Leviton 900 micron fiber fast cam UPC connectors. First let's take a look at the tools you'll need to begin. If terminating connectors to 2.0 millimeter jacketed fibers or 3.0 millimeter jacketed fibers, please consult the connector instruction sheets for further information. Slide the boot over the fiber before you start the termination process. The cable should be inserted into the small end of the boot first. Make sure a sufficient length of 250 micron bare fiber is exposed Leviton recommends at least 35 millimeters. This required length may vary based on the style of precision cleaver being used. Refer to the cleaver manufacturer documentation for specific requirements. Make a mark on the tubing 12 millimeters back from the exit point of the fiber. Remove at least 20 millimeters, about one inch, of buffered jacket from the fiber in quarter inch sections back to the zero mark. Run the fiber stripper over the bare fiber ensuring complete removal of the buffer and acrylate coating. Verify the acrylate coating has been removed from the fiber. Clean the bare fiber with an alcohol wipe to remove any debris. You will hear a squeak when cleaning. If no squeak is heard, recheck the fiber to ensure the acrylate coating has been removed. Open both fiber doors and slide the blade to the forward position. Position the fiber in the large groove closest to the door hinge with any curvature oriented downward. The strip fiber exposed at the end of the buffered jacket should be positioned at the 10.5 millimeter mark, located approximately at the edge of the exit point to the fiber holder. It is better to err on a longer cleave measurement, closer to 11 millimeters than 10. Once positioned, secure the fiber with the fiber holder doors, then cleave the fiber by moving the slide rearward. Open the main fiber door and safely discard of the fiber scrap. Leave the cleaved fiber in the holder until you are ready to insert it into the connector. The fiber connector comes with wedge clips already installed. However, it is important to reset the clips prior to termination. To remove and reseat the wedge clips, squeeze the clip from the outside. Both wedge clips will release with a click. Now, reseat each clip into the connector one at a time. Press down above window one until it clicks. Then do the same for window two. A click will be heard for each wedge. This ensures both cams are engaged into the connector. Remove the protective cap from the connector. Install the visual fault locator onto the ceramic ferrule at the end of the connector and turn the VFL on. Since the cams are open, you can see light traveling down the length of the connector and escaping through window one. Remove the fiber from the cleaver and insert it into the open end of the connector. Slowly insert the fiber into the rear of the connector. Gently twisting the fiber during insertion will help avoid snagging or breaking of the glass. Never force a fiber into a connector. If you experience difficulty with insertion, verify the acrylate coating has been removed from the fiber. If you experience difficulty with insertion, remove and restrip the fiber, reset the cams again, verifying a click for each cam, and reinsert while rolling the fiber between your thumb and forefinger. Once the fiber is inserted, the light emitting from the visual fault locator in window one should dim or disappear, indicating that the fiber has mated with the connector. If you are not using a visual fault locator, the mark on your fiber should be in line with the end of the connector. Insert the fiber so it bows slightly. This ensures the cleave fiber end fully mates and there are no gaps. Maintain the bow until the cams are released and locked in place. Apply a little pressure maintaining the bow to the connector while releasing the cams. Remove the connector from the visual fault locator and attach the protective cap. Slide the boot up and twist it onto the connector housing. Squeeze the cam to release it and remove it from the connector. For more information, please visit leviton.com.